Welcome to tonight's Citywide Sports Network College Basketball Telecast on KCWX. This is Mike Lefko with Chuck McAtenick from Bill Grehe Arena on the campus of St. Mary's University as the Rattlers host the St. Edwards Hilltoppers. And welcome to the Gun Automotive Group pregame show. It's presented by Gun Automotive Group, where buying your next vehicle is real, simple. GunAuto.com. It's the Battle of the Saints, and it's for the second time this season. These two teams have already matched up once, and whenever they meet, it's going to be a good one. Right, and two schools basically right down the road. Uh, we're talking about a heightened sense of awareness here. We are in league play, both of these teams coming off back-to-back -back losses, so I think we're in for a barn burner tonight, Mike. Well, for both these teams, they have big stars who have carried them. St. Edwards as a guy, not a movie star, but may play like one. I'll tell you what, Landon Gosling has hair like a movie star. I'll give him that, but the thing I like about this guy, he's very aware and very a confident guy. I mean, he went into his coach's office during the offseason and said, hey, I know I didn't play a lot for you this year, but I think next year I can be the guy that not only leads this team, but also can give you some punch from an offensive standpoint. And Gosling has done all that and more. They're going to lean on this kid a lot this evening. And for St. Mary's, they might lean on a guy who has really stepped it up lately down the stretch. Yeah, Peter Radajicic is a very rugged type player for these St. Mary's Rattlers, not only on the offensive end, but on the defensive end too. As you look at his splits, this is one of those guys that brings a lot of attitude, a lot of muscle to this team. It really feeds into the other guys. This is a rugged St. Mary's team, and they're going to need to be really at the height of their game tonight. It is a critical Heartland Conference matchup. We'll have plenty more on the series history and our keys to the game. All that ahead. Just sign here. That's what they all say. But you have to read the fine print. That's why I trust Gun. They keep things simple. Your car has value. That's the business they are in. They'll make you an offer, one that you can take to the bank. That's the way it should be. No strings. Why would you want it any other way? Gun. Real. Simple. Thomas J. Henry, a lawyer with more than 25 years' experience. A law firm that has resolved tens of thousands of cases for people who have been hurt in accidents. Winner of numerous industry awards and recognized by the nation's top publications. With offices across Texas and over 100 attorneys ready to fight for you. When you've been injured, you deserve the best. Call Thomas J. Henry. Don Rackler here with three reasons why you should call John Wayne to the rescue this winter. One, while the temperature is low, so are our prices. Everything is on sale, including plumbing and electrical services. Plus, AC and heating equipment is 50% off. Two, take advantage of our five-year 0% financing with no payments for five months. Three, John Wayne is the most trusted name in home services with an A-plus rating with the BBB and over 3,000 five-star reviews. Call now for your free estimate at 293-6700 or johnwayneair.com. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And what about the pancake? Pancakes and pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Well, that sounds flipping pancakes to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. They're three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat for a limited time. Perfect. $3.99, all you can eat, pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. Calling all Amazonians. The Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster opens this March. Six Flags Fiesta Texas and the Book of Free are combining their strengths to offer this super power deal. For a limited time, you can get the Book of Free with thousands in savings. Plus two free tickets to Six Flags Fiesta Texas to experience the world's first single rail coaster. Get yours at bookoffree.com today and be one of the first to ride the revolutionary Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Massive coaster. Hurry, supplies are limited. When you visit Rolling Rentals and more, we want you to know you're with the best in the business. Come on in and see why people keep coming back for our great customer service. Check out our reviews, our customer ratings, and our videos on Facebook. Rolling Rentals and more on Culebra Road. Welcome back to the Gun Automotive Group pregame show. As you know, Gun Auto keeps things real simple. We're going to make this real simple for the Hilltoppers, Chuck. What do they have to do in order to win tonight? Well, They've got to push the pace. This is what they do. They get up and down the floor, make a lot of baskets, and then they do not want to send St. Mary's to the free throw line. And then by doing so, 
you know, get them started offensively. And the keys for St. Mary's. Well, first of all, they got to contain the lane, keep St. Mary's, I'm sorry, keep St. Edwards out of the paint, and then feed the post. Let the Serbian sensation do his thing. We will see if Radicic will do his thing. More on the series history, the Battle of the Saints, when we come back. That's what I'm talking about. A little late there, Frankie. Frank got the job. Get hands-on career training job. and graduate Frank in less than a year. Job. We're enrolling now in San Antonio for programs in business, medical, technology, and skilled trades like auto mechanic, HVAC, and welding. Google Southern Careers Institute or SCI Texas for more information. Get the training. Get the job. Southern Careers Institute. Big trucks servicing oil and gas wells are on tight schedules. They drive fast on two-lane roads, causing bad accidents and even killing people. Unacceptable. Got terribly hurt by a big truck? I'll hit hard to protect you and your family. Call me, Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. I'll go after the compensation you deserve. 210-531-0000. Dial it now. Do you have an ugly situation like a problem rent house? Repair issues? An inheritance? Back taxes or divorce? Hi, San Antonio. We're homebesters. Do we buy ugly houses, people? Don't fix it. Sell it. Call us today at 1-800-44-BUYER. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And what about the pancake? Pancakes and pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Well, that sounds flipping pancakes to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. They're three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat for a limited time. Perfect. Three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. New year, new ride, new you. Nissan of Bernie is celebrating New Year's with savings. Pop over to Bernie for dazzling discounts on trucks like 2017 Titans for 16,000 off MSRP or 2017 Frontiers for 5,000 off MSRP. Don't miss the fireworks or the savings. Enjoy the road ahead from the comfort of your new truck. But hurry, these savings will be gone in a flash. Nissan of Bernie. Better selection, better price. When I spoke to Karen, I knew selling her mom's house was stressful for her. After our meeting, I was able to prepare a cash offer immediately. I told Karen she didn't have to do a thing, and we closed on her schedule. Visit WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. This is KCWX-TV, San Antonio, Texas. Welcome back to the Gun Automotive Group pregame show. As you'd expect, out of any good rivalry, these two teams have met frequently and for a long time. First met back in 1937. Now it's a rivalry kind of dominated by St. Mary's, but St. Edwards won the most recent meeting when they met earlier this year. We'll see how round two plays out. Starting lineups and the first half come up after this. Company cars, trucks, SUVs, vans, and fleet vehicles are used every day by employees to carry out work functions. While useful for companies, these vehicles are also involved in thousands of accidents every year. If you were hit by a company vehicle, the driver's employer may be held responsible. Thomas J. Henry has more than 25 years' experience handling company vehicle accident cases. If you were injured in a company vehicle accident, call now. Attorneys are available 24-7, nights and weekends. Don Rackler here with three reasons why you should call John Wayne to the rescue this winter. One, while the temperature is low, so are our prices. Everything is on sale, including plumbing and electrical services. Plus, AC and heating equipment is 50% off. Two, take advantage of our five-year 0% financing with no payments for five months. Three, John Wayne is the most trusted name in home services with an A-plus rating with the BBB and over 3,000 five-star reviews. Call now for your free estimate at 293-6700 or johnwayneair.com. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. $3.99, all you can eat pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. We're set for the Hilltoppers and the Rattlers here from Bill Greehe Arena. First matchup earlier this year, you saw it went the way of St. Edwards, 90-76. to 76. But, Chuck, this is an interesting note. Their coach, Andre Cook, 
He said this is a tough place to play. They have never won here under the ninth year head coach. Yeah, he said it wasn't a rivalry until they started getting some wins overall in this series. But yeah, it has been kind of a home and home thing. And I know Coach Cook is really looking forward to this game tonight. Both teams come in on a two game losing streak, so an important Heartland Conference matchup. A little motion offense early. It's Dorian Lopez, the San Antonio native, quick touch. There's Gosling, who we highlighted to start the broadcast, and he knocks one down to get the scoring started. Well, very good patience by the Hilltoppers on their first possession. Coach was telling us earlier, he really felt like they had too much of a hair trigger their last time out. Got a little antsy with their shots for jacking them up a little too quickly. He said we played as if there was a five-second shot clock in that game. Lob down low. Rana G6 step through and a foul. Now let's get you the starting lineups for both teams presented by IHOP. St. Edwards going with a couple newbies in the starting lineup. Lucas Doria and Corey Sherville, Sherville make their second start. And there's Dorian Lopez. We'll talk about him more as we progress through here. But for St. Mary's, the same five that we saw a couple of weekends ago. Highlighted by Robbie Benavides, who had that career day to beat Oklahoma Christian. For St. Edwards, their ninth year head coach, Andre Cook. He is sitting at 249 career wins as a head coach. Now he's also the head coach at Hudson Valley Community College before coming here. So this could be a potentially big one for him tonight. Well, good job by Rad getting to the line, knocking them both down. We'll keep an eye on him. He was kind of grabbing his off shoulder there after going up strong, trying to get that basket from the field. Sean Watkins fires too strong. Uh, these two teams live at the free throw line. St. Mary is the second best in the conference. St. Edwards, Gosling, of course, he's the one that carries them. He's the best free throw shooter in the nation. Gets to the line the most. Past the wing there's Sherville. And it's knocked away, it stays with the Hilltoppers. A good job by St. Mary's in transition that time, at least cutting off the fast break. And they're gonna have to be very attentive to this Hilltopper squad that likes to get up and down and get the ball shot at the rim very, very quickly. Got a Jisic, and now he's fouled, and that one goes on Lopez. That's the second on Lopez. So the homecoming ruin for the 6'5 sophomore Dorian Lopez. Already the second foul on the Hilltopper starter. The young man from Marshall, oh, well, he picked up the foul. He almost lost his arm in that fray. Ferguson firing for three, knocks it through. Good start for St. Mary's, shooting it from the outside. He can knock down a few of those, he's gonna loosen it up on the inside. Uh, Lopez stays in. He's gonna get a work. Ripped away by Benavides. The shuffle back to Jawan Green, wearing number 21 today instead of his usual three. And he drops it in. We have to find out why he likes to switch. But boy, how good was he the last time we got a chance to see him play? And how good is this guy, Landon Gosling, fighting his way to the rack? Well, it was one layup, he gets another. Benavides picks the pocket and then feeds Green. Nice step. Getting a bunny on one end and then Mr. Gosling, a little wrap around Dipsy Doo, hoop and hack, brings himself a trip to the line. Still thinking about that hair, huh? That's some good flow he's got there. <laughs> Show flow. That was the second foul on Will Ferguson, though. So two fouls on both teams. They both have gone to the same player. Ferguson for one, and then St. Edwards both went on Lopez. Ferguson has come out. Lopez also has just checked that out. Lopez has stayed in, actually, down there, moving back and forth on Skylar Brooks. And Gisek lost it in traffic. Very good, Lucas Dorn. Lopez firing too strong, strong board, Skyler Brooks. Uh, 
Now, CSN's first half scoreboard is sponsored by John Wayne Service Company. When you need heating, cooling, plumbing, or electrical help, make just one call to fix it all. 210-293-6700. Yeah, that was a pretty nice sequence there for Lucas Doria. In Sao Paulo, Brazil. Got the turnover the first time down, and then started fronting the Serbian sensation. Caused another turnover, and then Hilltoppers getting themselves another bucket in the paint. Tough floater by Sean Watkins, a 5'10 senior. One of the best in Division II in assists, nearly six per game. Deadlocked at seven. Return trip after these two teams met back on December 6th. That one was won by the home Hilltoppers. It's been a home-dominated series recently. Gasling, step through, bank it in. How about the body awareness there? Leaving his feet, squaring his shoulders, arcing that ball off the square and into the hole. That was sweet. Jawan Green answering right back. It's a pace as quick as it has. And that's exactly what you have to do if you're Jawan Green. You know, if you've got a score out on the floor, you want to make him work on both ends of the floor. It'll take away some of his offense and push him on the defensive side. Just four minutes in. Straight away, three off the mark. The Hilltoppers love to take the three. They have struggled when they don't hit it. This one the other way, Skyler Brooks. Well, Skyler Brooks, you know, he had such a great game the last time we saw these guys, and his first shot of the night didn't even draw iron, but he sure measured that second one perfectly. Tough body control, fought for. Risky play by Lopez with two fouls. Doesn't get called for his third. Yeah, he's one of those JYDs, you know. <laughs> They're gonna... They're going to keep feeding that guy. I mean, he's going to play hard, and he's going to throw caution to the wind, even with the fouls. Gosling throwing it up. And down to St. Mary's. They look to push the pace. Benavidez, good look, and the finish. He's so much junk in his game, and he's so quiet about it. Looked like he was going to pull up and take that three, and went from good to better with the pass, got an easy layup out of it. Chuck, I think he likes the cameras. He had a career day last time we were here, 15 points and 10 rebounds. Didn't miss a shot. Now he stepped it up again already. Yeah, five for five, and then hit the biggest one of the night. Lopez got the touch. John Marshall Ram in the house. I think there are a few of them. You can hear him cheering. Well, yes. Coach Coach Cook was telling us how much they really like his rugged style of play, and he's another guy that, you know, they're hoping that Defensively, this is a team that can kind of pick up the pace like Lopez does on that end. Came over there and helped alter that shot. Lopez, very physical factor down there. He's trying to carve some space out on Brooks. Back to the wing. And down to Benavides. Brooks, too strong. Must be feeling it, though. Must have had... You know, a really good pregame meal or something. The shoot around must have been really good because he's coming out fire. Didn't miss that one by much. Both these teams ran into buzz saws in their last two losses. Opponents that just shot unbelievably well. And we had seen that early as the points piled up in the first few minutes of this one. The bump by Green. It's a contact after the play with a foul. Will go on Sean Watkins. St. Mary's. Controlling the pace, they're up too. A Texas legend, a San Antonio icon, power lawyer Wainwright. Winning clients the most money possible. Stopping at nothing to get justice now. Wainwright won my case. Wainwright Injury Lawyers, one of the largest personal injury law firms in the nation. Get the right lawyer right now, right here in San Antonio. The right injury lawyers will come to you with one easy call. Wainwright won for me. Wainwright's famous for helping injured people in San Antonio. Call power lawyer Wainwright, 888-8888. In Texas, we don't make excuses. We're hard workers. Anything we have to do with work, you know, that truck is indispensable for that. I drive about three, four days a week, and I'm on the phone 80% of the time. Sink, piece of cake. Chevrolet that I had before, driving it, it just didn't feel like it was going to make it. I sat in a Ford, and I said, you know what? I can sit in this car for 10 years. 
and it'll still be a good running vehicle. It's designed to last. Celebrate 41 years of F-Series leadership with 4,100 cash on a 2018 F-150. Ford is the best in Texas. Winning drives me. Make the right moves at the right time. Simple, like gun. No back and forth, just one simple price. For 20 years, that approach has helped gun customers get the vehicle they want at a great price, but just one price. They just want to make this simple, but not just the price, the whole process. Gun, real, simple. Don Rackler here with three reasons why you should call John Wayne to the rescue this winter. One, while the temperature is low, so are our prices. Everything is on sale, including plumbing and electrical services. Plus, AC and heating equipment is 50% off. Two, take advantage of our five-year 0% financing with no payments for five months. Three, John Wayne is the most trusted name in home services with an A-plus rating with the BBB and over 3,000 five-star reviews. Call now for your free estimate at 293-6700 or johnwayneair.com. If you were hurt in a drunk driving accident, we can help. Thomas J. Henry has helped drunk driving accident victims for more than 25 years. Call now. Our attorneys are available for you 24-7, nights and weekends. Quick and physical pace to start this one. Couple of fouls on key players. And tonight's first half of CSN Basketball is brought to you by Nissan of Bernie. For better selection and better prices, visit Nissan of Bernie. Battle of the Saints has some nice connotation to it. You think it'd be a friendly, you know, charitable affair, but <laughs> these two women's teams played earlier got a little heated. So oh, you have to wonder if uh, the nature of the rivalry may come out here. Oh, yeah. I mean, in the ladies' game, we had one lady get horse-collared by another one. So, yeah, we talked about it being a holy war. I mean, this is a long-standing rivalry that, you know, really St. Mary's got the best of for many, many years. St. Ed's has just turned the corner here recently under Coach Cook. And already six fouls have been called in this game. Green right at Harden. There's another foul. This one on the offense. It goes on Green. His first. That's one of those you sacrifice your body for Corey McKendry. Look at him. Plant his feet. Get to the spot. May have leaped up a little bit, which sometimes won't get you the call, but usually first guy to the spot wins. The refs got that right. Well, all of our first half instant replays are brought to you by Thomas J. Henry. When you or your family need help, call Thomas J. Henry 24 7 nights and weekends 210 656 1000. That's James Taylor into the game for the first time. Really the only true post, as head coach Andre Cook said, as a team that primarily likes to shoot jump shots and three pointers. Does he sing? I was trying to, I was gonna slowly <laughs> kind of work some references in there, okay. but you went right to it. Oh, I couldn't help myself. So I get from missing these staff meetings. <laughs> yes, we talk about being subtle. Yeah, obviously. Subtle we'll as see. an animal, We'll right? see what James Taylor's got out there. Landon Gosling making things happen. Yeah, I said I thought they got the call right on the other end on the last call with the charge, and Coach Z begs to differ. He is letting him have it. Down there, a block. That's smacked out of bounds. Yeah, Freddie Williams getting some help, too, weak side, but look at 32. Yeah, I got a couple of guys getting some mitts on that. Daniel Hurst from Lamb Passes. Sean Phillips has come in. He was a starter for most of the early part of the season for St. Edwards, number 21 in the corner. And then an offensive foul down there. The guy's going for loose balls, and you know, St. Ed's wants to push the pace as much as possible, and I think St. Mary's has done a very nice job kind of controlling tempo early in this ball game, and still clinging to that two-point lead for Coach Z's squad. Octavian Wagner with the basketball. Shot clock slips underneath 10. Fade away. Green. 
Yeah, when in doubt, create for yourself. This young man likes playing on television. Jawan Green has had a 30-point game this year. First year here with the Rattlers. And a travel. Actually, hadn't been many turnovers. There are a lot of fouls. Not many turnovers at this point, but that's one on Goslin. Well, we've done a number of games, and we have really seen referees across the board make a concerted effort to call traveling more than I can ever remember. But they've been pretty consistent. Strong take to the basket. Hands on the rim and the finish by Freddie Williams. Freddie Williams off to a nice start. What an explosive first step. Yeah, one of their better scoring options off the bench. He's a senior. Went to the rack quick. Shot no good by Taylor. Ball slapped around, saved, but not in time by Williams. And after all that, it'll stay with the Hilltoppers. Well, back and forth they go. St. Mary's finding some breathing room in the early going. When you visit Rolling Rentals and more, we want you to know you're with the best in the business. Come on in and see why people keep coming back for our great customer service. Check out our reviews, our customer ratings, and our videos on Facebook. Rolling Rentals and more on Culebra Road. Drunk driving is among the leading causes of auto accident deaths in the U.S. More than 10,000 people were killed in drunk driving crashes in 2015 alone. An average of one death every 51 minutes. If you were hurt in a drunk driving accident, we can help. Thomas J. Henry has helped drunk driving accident victims for more than 25 years. Call now. Our attorneys are available for you 24-7, nights and weekends. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And what about the pancake? Pancakes and pancakes. And the pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Well, that sounds flipping pancakes to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. They're three ninety nine, all you can eat for a limited time. Perfect. Three ninety nine, all you can eat pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. San Antonio Express News has been the voice of South Texas since eighteen sixty five. Our award winning journalists deliver the news that matters most to San Antonio. Know your community with city reporter Viana Davila. Get the news first from investigative reporter John Tedesco and gain real insights from columnist Brian Chasnoff. Subscribe today at mysa.com slash go essay or text Express News to seven seven four five three. The San Antonio Antonio Express News, real news and real insights. When you visit Rolling Rentals and more, we want you to know you're with the best in the business. Come on in and see why people keep coming back for our great customer service. Check out our reviews, our customer ratings, and our videos on Facebook. Rolling Rentals and more on Culebra Road. South Texas will now have more award-winning news coverage than ever before, and that's because News for San Antonio can also be seen right here on KCWX-TV. Join us nightly at 5.30 and 10.30 right here on KCWX-TV. This is KCWX-TV, San Antonio, Texas. St. Mary's says open up some breathing room here on a Wednesday night in San Antonio. There's a Serbian flag, a couple of rattlers, some... Soccer and tennis representatives supporting their fellow Serbian. Here's a look at the top 25 scoreboard brought to you by MySA.com, the largest voice in South Texas for 150 years. Xavier up big on Marquette, and Florida just snuck into the top 25, having some trouble potentially. South Carolina hanging tough. Rematch of last year's Elite Eight. Multiple cracks for the Hilltoppers on this last possession. Spin down low and the finish by James Taylor. Yeah, it's tough to get a rebound when the shots don't draw iron. So St. Mary's a little unfortunate that last time down. Now St. Edwards has now come out into a zone. And no trouble breaking it for the Rattlers. That's how you do it. Move the ball and move the bodies. Get guys going one direction or the other. This is Ryan Garza running the offense for a moment for the Hilltoppers. 
Gosling. You can bet most of the offense will flow through that guy, Ryan Gosling. And he gets the foul drawn. Yeah, he took a shot. One, two, great passing, great movement, and nice slashing ability by Freddie Williams, who's off to a great start in this ballgame. And a foul did go on Williams, though. It's not the easy attempt from Gosling. He's a junior from Bakersfield, California. Transferred from the D1 level. Played at App State as freshman year. Before coming here to St. Edwards. Gosling hits that free throw. He's made an NCAA most 150 free throws this season. Most in Division II. Moves like that, you can see why he just yeah. works his way to get to the line. No, yeah, he's got great twitch movements. You can tell he's the quickest guy on the floor. Rangy young man, but he made a pass earlier, a few minutes ago, been a wide open teammate. He missed the lamp, and I don't think Gosson was too thrilled about that. Showed a little emotion. Staring down his own guy. Moving screen called out on the wing on the Rattlers. And that goes on Freddie Williams. So now that's his second. Bit of foul trouble developing for a couple of Rattlers. And that's already their 17th foul. So for a team in St. Edwards, it's very good at shooting free throws. Third in the country, most attempted. They're going to shoot the rest of the half. Oh, what a pass. Couldn't finish the wide open look, but was that a no look even? Such a quick touch pass down into the post. Well, first off, it starts with Freddie Williams, you know, getting the turnover and then thought he had a breakout. Really smart, pulled it back. St. Mary's setting things up and getting a great pass inside. Just couldn't get it to go. Ball stays down there with the Rattlers. So Williams on the bench with his second foul. Will Ferguson, their starting point guard, already picked up two fouls. And then a drive by Jawan Green. Jawan Green is having a really excellent time beating guys to the hole. He's got some point blank shots, several of them already tonight. Strong take by James Taylor. Sing it for me, Chuck. I'll spare the viewer. Maybe later, second half. <laughs> He's got plenty to choose from. Brooks too strong. Running three by Garza, no. This St. Edwards team, they like to shoot threes. When they make double-digit threes, they've done so eight times. They win ball games, but it's St. Mary's tonight knocking down the three. Boy, well, they've been really hot. McCullough wide open in the corner, and Freddie Benavides just set up that whole thing with his eyes and then found his man in the corner, and nothing but net. And the Hilltoppers counter and answer. Sean Phillips, the yeah. freshman. Anything you can do, I can do better. St. Ed's giving that three right back. Went quickly down the floor and didn't take long to get a shot up. Threes might be the mindset with this zone being played by St. Edwards or Green and just slashed to the basket. Yeah, they're going to have to try something else because there was some confusion by the St. Ed's defense. And while they were trying to figure it out, Green did a drive by. Interesting, too, because some people think the misconception is you can't beat a zone by dribbling, but obviously he had a. Good idea on how to attack that. Yeah, got some athletic guys. You can do a lot of things. Here's one of them. Top shot. Almost goes down. It was a great job by Gosling to get it shot up. Got a block right here. Foul goes great, on Garza. Great job by Gosling creating space to get the shot up. Couldn't have it, but there you see. Freddie Benavides finding his man in the corner. 
2-0, lining it up and knocking it down. Rattlers up seven. Do you have a problem house? Call us today and we'll buy it. That's right. If you have a house you don't want, call us today and we'll buy it. Turn that problem into cash. Call Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses people now at 1-800-44-BUYER. That's 1-800-44-B-U-Y-E-R. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And what about the pancake? Pancakes and pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Well, that sounds flipping pancakes to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. They're three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat for a limited time. Perfect. Three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. Don Rackler here with three reasons why you should call John Wayne to the rescue this winter. One, while the temperature is low, so are our prices. Everything is on sale, including plumbing and electrical services. Plus, AC and heating equipment is 50% off. Two, take advantage of our five-year 0% financing with no payments for five months. Three, John Wayne is the most trusted name in home services with an A-plus rating with the BBB and over 3,000 five-star reviews. Call now for your free estimate at 293-6700 or johnwayneair.com. There were more than 2.9 million workplace injuries in the U.S. in 2015. 13 workplace deaths reported every day. Workplace accidents can cause debilitating injuries that can lead to loss of work and income. If you were injured in a workplace accident, call Thomas J. Henry now. Our attorneys are available for you 24-7, nights and weekends. Celebrating New Year's with savings. Pop over to Bernie for dazzling discounts on trucks like 2017 Titans for 16,000 off MSRP or 2017 Frontiers for 5,000 off MSRP. Nissan of Bernie. Better selection, better price. When I spoke to Karen, I knew selling her mom's house was stressful for her. After our meeting, I was able to prepare a cash offer immediately. I told Karen she didn't have to do a thing, and we closed on her schedule. Visit WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. Rattlers lead by seven against their rival St. Edwards, and it's been the guy who had the big shot last game dishing it off this time. Robbie Benavides setting his teammates up. Yeah, Green off to a quick start, five of six, but you're right. It's the Bertie Benavides show, pushing pace, controlling the action, finding the open man. Hasn't even attempted a shot yet, but has four assists, and he's actually leading his squad in rebounding tonight, too. There's Nico McCullough already connected on one. Doesn't go, but it stays with the Rattlers. Really good hustle by Brooks there, coming over and at least able to maintain possession for the Rattlers. Jawan Green, 10 points. He's on the bench. He's been replaced by Octavian Wagner. Benavidez continues to run the offense. Radajicic was hot early. Stuck on two points for a while, though. And now four. Boy, just muscled it up against Taylor. Feed the block. Remember what you had for the keys early on in this game? Feed the post. And Rad knocking it in. Good shake by Taylor. Looks like Radajicic got away with a little net grab. Yeah. Accidental. Not on purpose, but probably goaltending nonetheless. Coach Cook is hot. Radajicic going back to work. The touch to Brooks and the foul. I'm telling you, man, Brooks is feeling it. You can tell. I mean, he is forcing the action. He went back to the block again. This time, Rad finds Brooks, who is slashing. Got a hoop and hack. And that's the second foul on Sean Watkins, the senior point guard for St. Edwards. That adds the big play for Skylar Brooks there. The Watkins is in with two. Dorian Lopez is still in with two fouls for the Hilltoppers. Brooks can't connect with the free throw. St. Mary's doing a little bit of everything tonight. You know, the pace has been good. They're knocking down shots, and they hold this team to 20 points to this point. I, mean, I spoke too soon, but doing an outstanding job on the defensive end as well. Now there's the senior bouncing back. Had some foul trouble. Hadn't gone the way of Watkins just yet, but connects on a big three. Was the largest lead of the game for St. Mary's. Now down to eight. Yeah. 
Radajicic, one more time. Boy, a little drop step and then high arcing shot off the glass. I don't know if that's exactly what he wanted, but he muscled that one home. Taylor's gonna counter the other way. It's just post action, right? Yeah, now. drop steps and jump hooks. And big fellas showing they've got some game. Fundamentals are fun. Quick double this time on Radajicic. And an offensive foul. Well, coming up on the Homevestors halftime show, Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses people, we'll have an interview with St. Mary's women's head coach, Jason Martins. The Rattlers beat the Lady Hilltoppers. I guess they're not Lady Hilltoppers, just Hilltoppers as well. But the women's team won earlier today, and we'll have an interview, our player spotlight, with Robbie Benavidez, along with a look at the first half highlights and stats from this one. I can't wait to hear what Coach Martins has to say about that game because it was a three or four possession game with under 20 seconds left to go. And it was getting chippy. Radicisic has just picked up his second foul. Now he's on the bench. And St. Edwards takes advantage to counter with a basket. Yeah, St. Mary's has got to do a better job of blocking guys out. You can't let bigs have little putback bunnies like that. Seems like this will be a pretty vital five minutes. I'm guessing what? Radajicic's probably not coming back in with two fouls. How does St. Mary's counter now? Well, they've been balanced, and they've been posting up even with him out of the ball game. So we'll just see. I mean, Benavides has been the guy finding open guys, and look at that. What a chance for a putback themselves. That's twice. Hurst has been agonizingly close. Just can't get it to drop. Ball scooped out to Brooks. A good angle to cut it off. And back the other way. Finally, action slowed. Nico McCullough kind of slows it down but commits a hard foul. All in good fun, but a good foul to deny a basket there on Lopez. Yeah, we were looking what I saw. Brooks goes hard to the rack and had a chance to get the put back there and then mad scramble guys grabbing jerseys. Hey, it's Hilltoppers and Rattlers going at it. What do you expect? That ball was everywhere. Yeah, 50-50 balls. are are <laughs> trying to count those up after this sequence. Well, that's tough. I wonder if Lopez, let me press it a little bit, missed a wide open layup, picked up two fouls early, returned to his hometown here. Yes, Austin is not that far away, but still, he's playing back in the city you played high school at. Hasn't exactly come easy so far for him tonight. Yeah, He's a pretty potent scorer. Yeah. 14 points and eight rebounds a game for this team. Well, I mean, it happens, you know. I mean, we, we've seen teams that got some scores and got some punch, and some nights it just don't go down for you. But you got to keep after it. You know, sometimes you never know when the spark's going to come from, whether it's at the line or maybe you get an easy layup. And all of a sudden, it's like, you know, somebody turned the faucet on. Pass intercepted by Jawan Green. Numbers, he goes to the rack, and it's over the top, no good. And then a foul on the floor, and this one's gonna go on Sean Watkins, the third in the first half on St. Edwards point guard. I was trying to see if somebody smacked the backboard while that ball was on the rim. So Watkins, a vital part of this St. Edwards offense but just committed his third foul. And he's right there pleading his case. He's saying, you know, he boxed out Brooks, who then just kind of jumped on him. And that's such a tough call to make because you see the contact, you see one guy kind of fall off. And it goes against Watkins, who stays in. An empty trip for St. Mary's, though, so we're gonna have to figure that out as well from the line. Helltoppers have cut into this deficit. They trail by as many as 11. And there's Gosling. Again, forcing his way to the free throw line. Landon Gosling will be at the free throw line when we return. St. Mary's was up big. They still lead. Rattlers up. Google 
SCI Texas for more information. Get the training, get the job at Southern Careers Institute. It's our annual floor model sale at Family Leisure. Huge savings on floor model items store-wide. Save 20, 30, even 50% or more on display model pool tables, bars and bar stools, massage chairs, theater seating, game tables, and more. It's time to make some room. We're not kidding. Deep discounts on all remaining floor model patio furniture sets, pools, play gyms, and spas. Don't miss out. Floor model sale going on now at Family Leisure. Well, family and fun come together. New year, new ride, new you. Nissan of Bernie is celebrating New Year's with savings. Pop over to Bernie for dazzling discounts on SUVs, like 2017 Pathfinders for $25,999, or $269 a month, or 2017 Rogues for $19,299, or $169 a month. Don't miss the fireworks or the savings. Enjoy the road ahead from the comfort of your new SUV. But hurry, these savings will be gone in a flash. Nissan of Bernie. Better selection, better price. Don Rackler here with three reasons why you should call John Wayne to the rescue this winter. One, while the temperature is low, so are our prices. Everything is on sale, including plumbing and electrical services. Plus, AC and heating equipment is 50% off. Two, take advantage of our five-year 0% financing with no payments for five months. Three, John Wayne is the most trusted name in home services with an A-plus rating with the BBB and over 3,000 five-star reviews. Call now for your free estimate at 293-6700 or johnwayneair.com. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. $3.99, all you can eat pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. Hilltoppers and Rattlers in a close one. St. Edwards chipping away at it. And here's a look at the game summary presented by Nissan of Bernie for better selection and better prices. Is it Nissan of Bernie? A first half look. So far, what's developed, not the best shooting for St. Edwards from the three-point line, but a lot of field goals chucked up. And how about St. Mary's, 50% nearly? Yeah, you know, and I think, really, we talked about how hard it's been for St. Ed's to find the mark in this game from the field, shooting about 35% in this one. I think the thing that's keeping them in it is the fact that they've got nine offensive rebounds already. So the effort is there. And, you know, talking to Coach Cook before the game, he said that, you know, he'd like his guys to be a little more rugged. I think he's going to like that stat. I mean, that, that speaks to how hard they're playing, and, you know, guys are getting after it around the glass. So it was Lopez at the line because of a push after that shot. Missed the first, and then that second one he made, he had started 0 for 3 from the free throw line before that make. Rooks fights for space, doesn't get it. Good hands by Gosling. With the all-hair team, right? With Brooks and Gosling out there. Garza's got a lot of hair. Number 20. I don't know if you are as envious of it as you are of Gosling. Well, he's hit, got a nice mane. Hit, yeah, his and Brooks' is too, man. I'm infinitely jealous. <laughs> Show flow extraordinaire. How Miss about on that? the three, the putback. Dorian. Yeah, that was really nice. Not only just to secure the rebound, but then... Roll to the rack and throw it up with your left hand. Nice going, big fella. And Jawan Green has been the scoring punch for St. Mary's in the first half. He's got 10. Backs up nearly half court. Ran into trouble. Lopez wants to fire ahead. Gosling gets it and the foul. Lots of hands forcing the turnover, and Coach Z just get teed up, or are they just subbing somebody out? He is smoking hot over there. I like that. I think Gosling stole it away from his own defender. Not necessarily, you know, stole maybe just, that was probably for me instead, freshman. Or sophomore, sorry, he took it from Mark Patterson. <laughs> Boy, this young man really knows how to finish around the rack, doesn't he? St. Mary's. He's got to protect the basketball. It was just such a helter-skelter possession. They had trouble even just getting it to the point. Free throw falls off. St. Edwards has left a lot on that free throw line right now. They're just three for nine. But they've clawed back to within one. That'll help extend the lead. Daniel Hurst. Well, the 
Ball Toppers decided that they were going to double Brooks, and well, he waited for the double to come and found the open man. That was a great pass and great vision. How about the big fella now? He's all amped up. Gets his dunk on one end and then throws a block part the other. That might be the thing that sparks Daniel Hurst. He had been so close around the rim. We talked about how he had missed some of those layups. The shots weren't falling. Well, you get a wide open dunk, that'll fire up the confidence. And yeah, he couldn't get more open than no one around you. Yeah, Brooks, outstanding little head fake, shoulder fake too, before he delivered the pass. Just as impressive on the other end. Making the Hilltoppers deal with rejection. If you're St. Mary's though, you've seen an 11 point lead slip to nearly losing the lead. Now they got some breathing room. Where do you go to find some consistent offense for the Rattlers? Well, I, you know, I think this is one of those situations where you knew at some point they were gonna cool off a little bit. And really the shooting, they, they've shot it well, but they've just gotta be more focused on protecting the basketball right now. Strong rip through. Gets a foul drawn. James Taylor was very assertive in getting right to the rack. And you can't be handsy trying to play defense like that. And when you're you're trying to send a double team, you got to go and bring your body towards the offensive player. You can't poke and jab with your hands. Taylor Swish. He's got seven points. Now he comes off the bench. Hasn't started a game this year, but he's their third leading scorer. That's that true post presence that Andre Cook talked about. He said really James Taylor, the 6'5 junior from Houston, is the only really post presence they have on this team. Yeah, he really likes the dynamic of the core guys that he has. He feels like he's got enough inside guys and outside guys on offense. He just likes to see, he'd like to see his team step it up a little more defensively. Tyler Barlow has come in for the first time. Big number 40 down there in the paint. Flashed the hoop and was picked up. First touch for Barlow. And he's tied up. Stays with St. Mary's though. So the shot clock does not reset, just at six. Under two minutes left and St. Mary's is trying to maintain this lead that led for most of this first half. Well. St. Mary's with an outstanding job of passing the ball around and finding the open guy, and equally as impressive to get that jump ball situation with the defense down there on the block. Tough spinning shot got off by Wagner. Doesn't go through. And the Hilltoppers with a chance to take the lead here in the final minute. Benavides now on Gosling. Kick to the wing, no good, Sherville. And then a foul down low. That was Mark Patterson, the sophomore, who got in position and was fouled on the rebound attempt. Yeah, I guess they didn't think that you are gonna have the Hilltoppers sending a lot of guys for the boards, but they sure have been doing exactly that in this first half. They tried to get possession, McCullough did, but calling for the hip check. Free throw, no good by Patterson. He's 0 for 5 from the free throw line this year. That's got to be mental at this point. Sophomore guard from Dallas, Texas. His twin brothers on the team, Matthew. Would you guess he's also a sophomore guard from Dallas, Texas? <laughs> I was doing the math. I'm glad you saved me. <laughs> and there you go. Mark Patterson hits his first free throw of the year. Had a season high nine points against Paul Quinn earlier this season for the Hilltoppers. He probably made them all on threes, right? <laughs> Can't make the free throws, but can bomb the threes. He is four for eight. It's a three point line. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes those are easier, right? You can jump into it, just fling it up there. It's it's an odd game sometimes when you look at some splits for different players, especially nowadays. Radajisic and Brooks have come back on. St. Mary's looking for an infusion of scoring. Green trying to provide it, but some contact beforehand. And that was Radajisic who 
Got the hard work and got the foul drawn. Actually, no, it was Green who got the foul called on that drive. Oh, did he ever? Look at this. Look like he's dropping jocks all over the joint here. Send three or four guys at him and didn't get the basket, but did earn a trip to the strike. Well, Jim Zelznak going kind of offense, defense, or Skyler Brooks, and now he'll come out with the Rattlers set to go back on defense. Both these coaches very cautious with the foul situations. That's why a lot of these guys who are kind of the eighth or ninth guy off the bench or to see time, rather, are in the game right now. There's yeah. some significant foul trouble from the starters. Still got to manage these ends of halves very well. Oops, when you hit every corner of the rim before you drop in a free throw, pick up one right there. You're just being friendly to all parts of the rim. Kind of like in pool, they just they hit all the rails. Your bumper pool? No, sometimes good angle. Bank a ball off the left rack. All right. I don't know, I've never really played competitive know, I, billiards. I, me either. I, I'm bad with angles, I was bad at geometry. I'm right-handed, but I shoot pool left-handed, so. Huh. Yeah, we stay away from the stick sports. Those St. Mary's has taken advantage of the line, four for six, and that's the discrepancy. The Hilltoppers, just six for 12. They've gotten there more, but they left a lot out there. Trailing by two, trying to milk some time. Final seconds of the first half. Gosling pull up too strong. Ball swatted towards the rim. Tipped around out of bounds and back to St. Edwards. They'll get it back with 6.7 seconds left in the half. Boy, Coach Z really scratching his head right there. They had a breakout and... Some turnovers haven't been a huge, huge problem in this game, but they will be if you keep it up. Gosling turned away. Curling, Phillips nails it at the buzzer. Sean Phillips drills the three at the half, and it will give St. Edwards a lead to the break. I guess they're going to look at it, but both coaches and both teams have walked off. Look pretty good from this end. And St. Edwards fired up. Sean Phillips, the freshman, gets his six points. So that'll give the Hilltoppers a halftime lead, and we will go into the locker room and begin the Homebesters halftime show. Coming up next. rental superstore for wheels and tires in San Antonio. Passenger, SUV, tuners, or off-road. You will find the wheels you want right here. Plus, appliances and electronics. Rolling rentals and more. You have your team. You work hard. Work smart. Keep it simple. This is how it works at Gunn. Family owned for 60 years. They have a whole string of banks and credit unions on hand to help you get the financing you need. And the thing about with the gun team, they are on your side. Gun. Real simple. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And what about the pancake? Pancakes and pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Well, that sounds flipping pancakes to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. They're three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat for a limited time. Perfect. Three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. San Antonio Express News has been the voice of South Texas since 1865. Our award winning journalists deliver the news that matters most to San Antonio. Know your community with city reporter Viana Davila. Get the news first from investigative reporter John Tedesco and gain real insights from columnist Brian Chasnoff. Subscribe today at mysa.com slash go essay or text Express News to 77453. The San Antonio Express News. Real news and real insights. 
Workplace accidents can cause debilitating injuries that can lead to loss of work and income. If you were injured in a workplace accident, call Thomas J. Henry now. Our attorneys are available for you 24-7, nights and weekends. Rolling Rentals and More, the largest rental superstore for wheels and tires in San Antonio. Passenger, SUV, tuners, or off-road. You will find the wheels you want right here. Plus, appliances and electronics. Rolling Rentals and More. Welcome to the Homevestors Halftime Show. Need to sell your home quickly? Call Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses people. 1-800-44-BUYER. A dramatic end to that first half between St. Edwards and St. Mary's. Well, that's the men's game. We don't know how that one's going to end. We do know how the women's game ended, and I'm pleased to welcome in women's basketball head coach Jason Martins. Coach, congratulations on your win earlier tonight against St. Edwards. Thank you. That was a great win for us today. You know, we you know we dropped a couple over the weekend, and for us to bounce back at home and get this win was was great for our program. We talk about the, the battle of the Saints. Everyone hypes that up. Can you talk about this firsthand? How big of a rivalry really is this matchup? No, it's a huge rivalry for not only our players, but our alumni. You know, we talk about it. One of my uh, my assistant coach played here, and I think she went 9-0 and in her four years here against them. So it's something that the girls talk about, and they have a lot of pride in, in making sure they get the win each year. What was key for you guys in uh, holding off St. Edwards down the stretch tonight? I thought we defended really well today. Held them to 50 points. Um, uh, Raja Porter was great as always. Um, had a great game. I think she had seven steals tonight, along with her 21 points. And so just a great all-around game for her. Well, we're here. We're sitting in this very fantastic, beautiful basketball arena. I want to ask you... What do you like about St. Mary's? What's made this place so special for you over the past 12 years? You know, I mean, it's just tradition. You know, we've had five national championships here, you know, two with softball, one with baseball, one with basketball, and one with golf. And then there's an academic national championship as well. And so just tradition, um, tradition of excellence. I mean, we've had a lot of success here in all the sports and just, you know, we try to keep that up. Do you see your students and your athletes, the players you coach go on to really have successful careers after getting a St. Mary's education too? Yes. Work? It's the thing we talk about all the time. When we sell to recruits, hey, you're going to get a quality education here. I mean, I think the student-teacher ratio is 13 to 1. And so small classes, professors know you as a, as a person, not a number. And you're going to leave here, and you're going to be successful once you graduate. Well, Coach, thank you. We'll let you save the voice a little bit. I know it was an intense game. Again, congratulations on the win, and we appreciate you joining us. Thanks. I appreciate it. That's head coach Jason Martins. The St. Mary's women got a win. We'll see what the men do. It's a close one. We'll have more highlights coming up next. Look at this. Look at me. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. Seriously hurt by an 18-wheeler? I hammer insurance company for you. An 18-wheeler ran a red light. My client fractured his arm and leg. I got him $196,000 in his pocket. Call me now. I'm Jim Adler, the tough, smart boy. Call 210-531-0000. 210-531-0000. I'm waiting. Do you have an ugly situation like a problem rent house? Repair issues? An inheritance? Back taxes or divorce? Hi, San Antonio. We're homevestors. The We Buy Ugly Houses people. Don't fix it, sell it. Call us today at 1 800 44 B U Y E R. Life happens in moments, single, fateful instances that can change everything. From who we are to who we become, these are the moments that define us. Thomas J. Henry, a lawyer with more than 25 years experience, a law firm that has resolved tens of thousands of cases for people who have been hurt in accidents, winner of numerous industry awards, and recognized by the nation's top publications. With offices across Texas and over 100 attorneys ready to fight for you. When you've been injured, you deserve the best. Call Thomas J. Henry. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. $3.99, all you can eat, pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. When I spoke to Karen, I knew selling her mom's house was stressful for her. 
After our meeting, I was able to prepare a cash offer immediately. I told Karen she didn't have to do a thing, and we closed on her schedule. Visit WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. Welcome back to the Homevestors Halftime Show. Once again, need to sell your home quickly. Call Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses people, 1-800-44-BUYER. Well, our player spotlight tonight is Robbie Benavides. Steam Master Cleaning is proud to spotlight athletic performance. They want to keep you proud of your home with spot-free carpet. Steam Master Cleaning cleans deep, dries fast. Here's Robbie and myself. We're here with Robbie Benavides, and if you remember, last time we were here, last time we were televising St. Mary's, you had a pretty big shot, uh, <laughs> yeah. kind of kind of a game-winning shot. Yeah. Can you really. take us through that again? Um, yeah, just the last couple seconds. Um, I mean, for one, coach called to play, and uh, you know, it's a good pass from you know Juwan. It was a good pass, and I came up, and my man kind of left. So I knew he left. And I know there's a lot of time left. So like, I got to get it up. I mean, it was tied game, so it's either we're gonna win or go over time, and uh, luckily it went in. It was right over there in yeah, that corner. Yeah. Is that your spot, the corner three, or what is your preferred spot uh, uh, around the arc? Honestly, like, preferably, no. Like, I wouldn't say the corner three is my spot, but, like, I'm, I wouldn't say, like, I'm, like, I would like to be efficient kind of everywhere on this, but, like, I wouldn't say it's my spot, I guess. What did that game mean for you and kind of sum up for your whole career there? A five for five performance behind the arc, just, you know, as a senior to have a performance like that? Um, I mean, for me, it felt good just because we got the win. More importantly, that's kind of more important than anything. But, like, looking back at it, it was kind of, like, it was kind of cool because, like, you kind of see all the hard work you put in, you make shots, you know, you, like you said, it went five for five. And it just kind of spent the time in the gym that just shows that, like, you know, it came out on the floor, I guess you can say. Not to get all retrospective with you, make you look back throughout your whole career, but yeah. when you do look back at you know your years here, you're building up into more of a rotation and now a role in the starting lineup. Do you think, hey, this has been a great process to get to where I am now? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I feel like everyone at one point, you know, kind of like has to work to get to where you're at. And for me, that's always kind of what I want to do. You know, I just kind of worked, kept working. You know, coach the, you know, the coach staff came me stuff that like I need to work on each year. So each coming each year, I'd always want to improve on something. And, you know, like you said, like, went from rotational to now, you know, starting and having a big role. I feel like that's helped me a lot. You're playing basketball, you know, in your hometown where you played high school. How special is that, that you got to play high school basketball here, you're from here, and now you play college basketball in San Antonio? Uh, I think it's pretty special, to be honest, because, I mean, my family gets to see me for one, and, I don't know, I really like having my family around, like you said, from high school all the way. They, they've been to every single one of my games, so it kind of helps me. I guess be more relaxed because I know they're out there. And plus, you know, my friends get to see me because I know if, you know, if I would have left or something, I would have, you know, kind of the support. So being like my friends and family there is like, kind of big for me. We are at halftime here at the St. Edwards game. You have a good chunk of the season left still. What are you looking forward to about this rest of the stretch in your final go around? Um, I guess, you know, like you said, it's, you know, it's the, kind of the home stretch here. So, you know, we're making progress each and every day and hopefully, you know, getting wins, you know, as we go along. Go, well, Robbie. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. He did have the big shot last time. Benavides hasn't really looked for his shot, but he has found the others who have. And we're going to take a look at the guys who have because there have been some big shots hit in this first half. So the first half highlights tonight are brought to you by the San Antonio Express News. Real news and real insights for over 150 years. Guy we talked about at the top of the broadcast, Ryan, uh, Landon yeah, Gosling. I knew I'd say it once. It's definitely the OGs tonight. The original Gosling, this guy, off to a nice start, 10 points, going hard to the rack. He's done it on four of nine shooting, and then on the other end, for St. Mary's, how about the job that Mr. Green has done? He's coming here on five of seven, been extremely efficient with the basketball. He has a dozen points so far, but tell you what, Michael, St. Mary's has got to figure something out on this offensive rebounding front. I mean, you cannot allow the opposition to get 12 boards on their end. St. Mary's shot 50% in the first half, and they're losing. They've got to clean up this mess on the glass. It did lead to opportunities for St. Edwards. They came back from an 11-point deficit, and that final three-pointer kind of summed up how St. Edwards hung around and then got back into it. But you mentioned you look at the field goal percentage, and you would just think, hey, St. Mary's should be up in this ballgame. Yeah, clearly the rebounding edge is what's why St. Ed's is off to such a great start in this ball game. And then, you know, seven turnovers in the first half for St. Mary's, it's not a huge, huge problem unless those go into second chance points. And as you see, there's a six point differential there between the two squads. Well, that's got to be cleaned up too. Yeah, as 
Finite of a margin as you could have. One point lead for St. Edwards. Second half comes up next. A smooth talking soap star. I haven't seen you here before. Oh, well, look at that. I'm just stroking your arm. Wants to play doctor with Rachel. Where is this actor taking them? Hey, I'm an actor too. There's just one small problem. Whoever she dates, my baby dates. Now it's up to Ross to expose this slimy soap stud. You guys, you think this is too slutty high, Cash? Before it's too late. Have a great time, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is too slutty. Next friends. Tonight at 11 on KCWX. When you visit Rolling Rentals and more, we want you to know you're with the best in the business. Come on in and see why people keep coming back for our great customer service. Check out our reviews, our customer ratings, and our videos on Facebook. Rolling Rentals and more on Culebra Road. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And what about the pancake? Pancakes and pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Well, that sounds flipping pancakes to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. They're three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat for a limited time. Perfect. Three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. New year, new ride, new you. Nissan of Bernie is celebrating New Year's with savings. Pop over to Bernie for dazzling discounts on cars. Like 2017 Centrus for $12,999 or $129 a month. Or 2017 Ultimas for $17,499 or $169 a month. Don't miss the fireworks or the savings. Enjoy the road ahead from the comfort of your new car. But hurry, these savings will be gone in a flash. Nissan of Bernie. Better selection, better price. When I spoke to Karen, I knew selling her mom's house was stressful for her. After our meeting, I was able to prepare a cash offer immediately. I told Karen she didn't have to do a thing, and we closed on her schedule. Visit WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. When you visit Rolling Rentals and more, we want you to know you're with the best in the business. Come on in and see why people keep coming back for our great customer service. Check out our reviews, our customer ratings, and our videos on Facebook. Rolling Rentals and more on Culebra Road. St. Edwards leads St. Mary's 38 to 37. The Hilltoppers on top, and hey, who's that guy over there? It's Chuck. Well, also the esteemed voice of the Spurs, TV voice of the Spurs, Bill Land. His son, Taylor, is the assistant coach here for the Hilltoppers. I think I should just take the headset off and uh, let him do the second half here. Not, I mean, not that he would probably want to interrupt watching his son, but feel like he probably should do it instead of me. Yeah, Bill has two kids that play that played college basketball, and we all know how much basketball that Bill and Sean know when they're doing Spurs games, so it's nice to have him out tonight. He's watching a good one. We'll see if the Hilltoppers can capitalize on that momentum. It's a big three by Sean Phillips before the half. They give him this one-point lead. Sherville fling it up at the horn and a shot clock violation. Well, if you're going to come out and really think that you got to work on some things to start the second half, how about that for a first defensive stand right there? Not bad. How about the efficiency of Gosling and Jawan Green? And Green touched the ball. He scored where he got to the free throw line. An early foul. Called on Ryan Garza. That's the third on the freshman. So a new starting lineup out there for head coach Andre Cook for St. Edwards. He's still kind of managing the foul trouble for Sean Watkins, his starting point guard, who picked up three in the first half. Good lob. Radagisic step through. Red man, that was very nice. Got the ball and then didn't initially go up with the ball. Got the defenders off their feet and then got the bunny. Rattlers back in front. St. Ed's trying to free feed the post. Guys are just front really well. And a good cut to the basket, and then a foul on Green. Just try to plead the innocent who me, but he picks up his third. Yeah, St. Ed's had a guy flash. That was Lucas Dory, who's having a really nice ball game himself. And tried to do the little veteran move, the little push in the back. The refs have been equal to the task tonight. We've seen that a couple of times. Guys try to get a little leverage advantage. 
Refs have called it nice and clean and tight. Dory's a sophomore from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Had seven rebounds in the first half there, most of anyone out on the court. Goes one and one for the line. Knotted up once again, Radajicic going to work. Set up beautifully by St. Mary's. It started with Robbie Benavides, and they had the spacing that they wanted, fed the post, and that was as smooth as Rads looked all night. Hello. Another turnover, two turnovers on the opening three possessions for St. Edwards. Andre Cook looking back for an answer there at his bench. Jim Zelznak trying to urge his team on in the tie ball game. St. Edwards actually, St. Mary's back at the lead, and now in front four after the dish to Brooks. Well, this Robbie Benavides, we've watched him time and time again, and he's just, he's got such great court vision. Sees guys that are cutting and always pinpoint with his passing. Dorian Lopez with a good look in his own. That's the San Antonio native. And finishing up, Dorian. So Dorian to Doria. Well, St. Mary's was really concerned with the first guy and let the second guy get loose. Now Doria, starting just his second game, he's been pretty impressive. And an offensive foul. Tell you what, it is guard on guard crime right now. These guys are really getting after each other. Just the first though on Benavides, so some foul trouble that St. Mary's won't have to worry about yet. Garza from the Valley. Benavides from right here in San Antonio. These guys are smashing heads right now. Gosling absorbed the contact. Tipped back twice. Doria has been all over the glass. Indeed he has, and he's had some company, but you just can't let that happen. I mean, you get the stop you're looking for, and... You don't get the stop until you get the rebound. Those are the offensive rebounds you talked about. The overwhelming advantage the Hilltoppers had in the first half. And Doria. Well, I thought they were going to play on a late call down there after he took a big shoulder for Radajicic. Well, let's see. It wasn't a whole lot, but... I'll tell you what, Coach Z is beside himself. I can't say I blame him on that one. There wasn't a whole lot to show for that. And that's tough because now Radajicic, three fouls with still 17 minutes left. But you got to regroup and play. You can't give up a layup at the other end. He might be trying to get Radajicic out of there. Daniel Hurst has gone to the scores table. But they'll keep feeding him when he's in. Benavides fires, it was in and out. And then Brooks doing work on the glass. Yeah, finally St. Mary's saying, all right, you guys are gonna do your work on the offensive end, cleaning up the windows. I could do some too, and I don't know how that ball didn't go down for Benavides. That thing was three quarters of the way down before it spun out, but luckily for St. Mary's, able to get the rebound and get a trip to the line. See if they can square this game. I thought we might not ever see him miss a shot. Yeah, right? Well, it's been a struggle from the line, too, huh? Now, tonight's second half scoreboard is sponsored by IHOP. Visit IHOP.com. Yeah, there have been some points left at the line by both teams. And an empty trip. Brooks can't convert. Yeah, both teams shooting atrociously from the line tonight. 50%. At least they're bouncing each other out. Hilltoppers have the edge, swatted by Hurst. Good job by Hurst, keeping that thing in bounds so his team could get the ball. And then Hurst works for the rebound and gets the foul called on Doria. Back in fourth, as narrow as it can get. St. Edwards continues to lead on the road.
Do you have a problem house? Call us today and we'll buy it. That's right. If you have a house you don't want, call us today and we'll buy it. Turn that problem into cash. Call Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses people now at 1-800-44-BUYER. That's 1-800-44-B-U-Y-E-R. It's our annual floor model sale at Family Leisure. Huge savings on floor model items store-wide. Save 20, 30, even 50% or more on display model pool tables, bars and bar stools, massage chairs, theater seating, game tables, and more. It's time to make some room. We're not kidding. Deep discounts on all remaining floor model patio furniture sets, pools, play gyms, and spas. Don't miss out. Floor model sale going on now at Family Leisure. Well, family and fun come together. When I spoke to Karen, I knew selling her mom's house was stressful for her. After our meeting, I was able to prepare a cash offer immediately. I told Karen she didn't have to do a thing, and we closed on her schedule. Visit WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. Do you have a problem house? Call us today and we'll buy it. That's right. If you have a house you don't want, call us today and we'll buy it. Turn that problem into cash. Call Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses people now at 1-800-44-BUYER. That's 1-800-44-B-U-Y-E-R. You have your team. You work hard. Work smart. Keep it simple. This is how it works at Gunn. Family owned for 60 years. They have a whole string of banks and credit unions on hand to help you get the financing you need. They are part of the team. And the best thing about working with the Gunn team, they are on your side. Gunn. Real. Simple. When I spoke to Karen, I knew selling her mom's house was stressful for her. After our meeting, I was able to prepare a cash offer immediately. I told Karen she didn't have to do a thing, and we closed on her schedule. Visit WeBuyUglyHouses.com or call 800-44-BUYER. The Battle of the Saints, St. Edwards, St. Mary's, meeting for the second time this season. It's been close. The Hilltoppers are on top. The Rattlers trying to stay right in this. You know, and that's the thing about this game. Every possession counts. And I want you to see what Daniel Hurst does right here. See how he blocks the ball, but doesn't tomahawk it into the stands to get everybody all riled up? I mean, there's so many goofy things in sports, like sliding into first base. That's one that drives me crazy. You know, unless you're trying to avoid a tag. But in basketball, why do guys do that? I mean, yeah, it looks good, you know, but we're not playing volleyball. You're trying to maintain possession with a defensive stop. So you get it with the block, but he was able to get it and tap it to his teammate and not knock it out of bounds. Hence, they get the ball back and the block, which by the way was his third of the night, you know, maybe that's gonna translate into some points down here. Critical one possession ball game certainly was a big play down there. And Brooks almost helped them capitalize you know, on it. In the NBA, the Spurs have they preached that forever. Don't tomahawk the thing out of bounds. Hard fought work. Dorian Lopez will get to the line. Now tonight's second half of CSN basketball is presented by MySA.com. And speaking of SA, Dorian Lopez from San Antonio was an all-district selection at Marshall High School. Now really interesting. Last year, his freshman year, he played at Oklahoma Christian, a fellow rival in this conference. But there's not the stringent transfer restrictions among conferences at the D2 level, so it was all good terms, no animosity there. The Oklahoma Christian coach said, yeah, you know what? You came, you wanted to play for the different coach, we're gonna let you go back to a team that kind of wants you, and if you want to go there, that's fine. So St. Edwards took him, and here he is in his sophomore year, didn't have to sit out. Well, that was nice of him to do that because you don't see that happen oftentimes in today's college athletics. Feed down low. Hurst is coming on. Indeed, on both ends. Defense leading to some offense. And, you know, just to kind of finish the point there about the blocks, I mean, I think Yao Ming is number one and Tim Duncan number two all time at block shots, but maintaining possession for your team. So there, there's an art form to it. Gossip. Right to the rack, he did get the foul called on Freddie Williams. Now well, he is very shifty. Put the ball on the floor, and the only angle he really had was to throw it up with his off hand, but he got doinked, and he's gonna go to the line, but here we go. Great passing again from St. Mary's tonight. The entire ball game, lots of assists. Guys are sharing the ball, and you know, this is kind of what we saw the last time we did their game. They didn't shoot the ball at a great percentage, but. They got pretty much everything they wanted going to the rack. They needed that Benavides three at the buzzer to win it. 
a tough shooting night, but they stayed after it and eventually got the big one to fall. Gosling connects on his first two points in this half. He's got 12. That's helped pace the Hilltoppers out to this four-point lead. And some trapping. A couple of different defensive looks we've seen already tonight. St. Mary's no problem beating it. They found their go-to guy this half. Yeah, St. Ed's taking some risks. They were trying to double the ball at the point, and great ball movement beats a lot of defenses. And getting up with another layup. Benavidez face guarding Gosling now. They're trying to deny him even touching the basketball. So going off an offensive board again. And it's Doria, who else? He's been everywhere tonight on the glass for St. Edwards. And immediately Coach Z goes right to his bench. He has had enough of this offensive rebounding stuff by St. Ed's. Here we go. Once St. Mary's was able to kind of break things down, we had Hilltoppers running every way, able to get an easy basket out of that one. We're going to see Zach Jarzan back in for the first time. And There's just so Doria many. hits another. Yeah, just so many things, partner, that kind of tilt a basketball game one way or the other. But I mean, 14 offensive rebounds in this game when you've done a really good job holding these guys down. I mean, this is a prolific offensive squad. They're making them work for everything. They're shooting under 40% and they're winning this game because of it. Hey, if you first you don't succeed, right? A lot of contact, Green stuck right with it. He's having a whale of a ball game offensively. Tip down to Jaromzak. He creates a turnover on the other end, Mr. Green. St. Mary's trying to string together a couple of consecutive baskets. They haven't done that yet this half. It's been one answer, and then the other team has countered here to start the second half. Manavides skips. Williams knocks it in. Just tremendous ball movement. Again, they're trying to double Freddie. They're running all kinds of screens, and I'll tell you what, 32 has been a little silent assassin in this ball game. A really nice contest, uh, contest so far for Freddie. Benavides now with seven assists. Sneaky Freddy again, huh? The offense might not be there tonight for Benavides. He's been dishing. Set up his teammates. Chance to take the lead for the Rattlers. Yeah, they missed the shot, but they stopped the run out. So let's see if they can get a rebound. If there's a miss. Sean Watkins is back in, and he slices right to the basket. A little give-and-go action worked to perfection. In fact, almost blindly. Lopez, an outstanding bounce pass that led to two. That's the confidence a senior point guard can bring. Watkins has been on the bench for most of this game with three first-half fouls. Back in, and makes an immediate difference. Williams has had the hot hand. Doesn't go. They had more action running towards the basket. They just didn't see it, and they had to settle for a three. Gosling steps through. Foul on the drive. St. Edwards wants to count the basket because it went up and then was tipped, and they had ruled the play dead beforehand. I'll tell you what, you don't usually see a guy try to break a double team get a call, but Gosling did, and then the play previous, as you see, Great sharing of the basketball leads to an easy two for the Hilltoppers. Doria checks out. He's had a fantastic night. Double-double for the sophomore. And we talked about Gosling, a 22-point-per-game scorer. And of course, his way back to that mark. And pretty evident now why... He's the nation's leader in free throws made. He's just there a lot. He's got some athletes in his family now, too, huh? Just a little NFL representation. Yeah, what's the story? His sister is married to Bryce Hager? Yep. They both have good hair, too. We looked it up. <laughs> Bryce Hager and Landon Gosling. 
Uh, everybody in the gym's got better hair than me, so that goes without saying, but it's going to be pretty cool. You have your brother-in-law playing at not only Texas, but now in the NFL. Hello. Sean Watkins has been on fire this half. Yeah, this is what you don't want. You know, you've done a pretty good job of slowing these guys down. St. Mary's has in terms of trying to slow down these hilltoppers, and you do not want these guys to get into a shooting rhythm because if it happens, they can scorch you pretty quickly. Back into a zone for St. Edwards. Benavides getting a call for an offensive foul. Second foul on Benavides. It was a back and forth game. The visitors from St. Edwards have pulled ahead up on top by four. Don Rackler here with three reasons why you should call John Wayne to the rescue this winter. One, while the temperature is low, so are our prices. Everything is on sale, including plumbing and electrical services. Plus, AC and heating equipment is 50% off. Two, take advantage of our five-year 0% financing with no payments for five months. Three, John Wayne is the most trusted name in home services with an A-plus rating with the BBB and over 3,000 five-star reviews. Call now for your free estimate at 293-6800 or johnwayneair.com. Antonio Express News has been the voice of South Texas since 1865. Our award-winning journalists deliver the news that matters most to San Antonio. Know your community with city reporter Viana Davila. Get the news first from investigative reporter John Tedesco and gain real insights from columnist Brian Chasnoff. Subscribe today at mysa.com slash goessay or text Express News to 77453. The San Antonio Express News. Real news and real insights. You know where to find me? On KJ97. It's your favorite radio station. It's the way I get to you. Nothing like a great song. And there's nothing like country music. Home of Randy, Jamie, and JoJo in the morning. First thing in the morning. And last thing at night. San Antonio's number one country station. The best songs. The biggest artists. All in one place. KJ97. We'll see you there. Nissan of Bernie is celebrating New Year's with savings. Pop over to Bernie for dazzling discounts on SUVs. Like 2017 Pathfinders for $25,999 or 2017 Rogues for $19,299. Nissan of Bernie, better selection, better price. An important Heartland Conference matchup right here between St. Edwards and St. Mary's. Let's take a look at the Heartland Conference scoreboard. Sponsored by MySA.com, the largest voice in South Texas for 150 years. Those are the two teams, UAFS and Rogers State, that St. Mary's just played. Two of the better ones in the conference. And Arkansas Fort Smith is up. Dallas Baptist, preseason pick to take this league or be up towards the top of that one, also up big. That Dallas Baptist team will come here in the Grehe Arena on Saturday. That's well, a tough back-to-back -back playing St. Ed's and then those guys, huh? Look at the hustle by Freddie. The Dallas Baptist was ranked 15th at one point earlier this year. Radajicic trying to get rid of it from the post. Still got plenty of time. Ferguson rises. Doesn't go. Radajicic. Oh, That'd be the first one we've seen him miss tonight. Yeah, he's still very active. Great chance at a second chance point. Benavidez wanted to push. St. Edwards closed. Slow it down for the Rattlers. The offense running through Rana Gisic. He gets a foul call down low. Trip to the line. Act in the act. Maybe not. They called it on the floor, huh? Foul goes on Taylor, yeah. He was trying to pantomime that he was shooting. Okay. Ferguson. 
Jackson tosses it up, and then gets fouled. No, actually a foul down low again on the rebound. So again, Radajicic helping make that happen. And we're giving St. Ed's taste of their own medicine. Multiple cracks on what looked to be some empty trips. Got to stay out there. Game's tight. Let's see if the hard work pays off. A long possession. And here's St. Mary's. At this point, you almost have to get something out of this. For Morrelson, right? And another, he just might foul out James Taylor on this <laughs> possession. Three fouls called on James Taylor on this same possession. And how about the entry pass by 10? This guy, he just sees things others don't. Well, the scoreboard said that was on McKendry. Yeah, it looked like Number he got five looked like he came from behind. It looked yeah. like Taylor had pushed him first, but that one officially called on McKendry, so the third foul on McKendry. Either way, Radagisa just piling up the fouls on this sequence. Well, I guess, you know, you get one point, but you did manage to put the Hilltoppers in the near bonus situation on one, one possession. Kick to Gosling. McKendry, a nice touch. Indeed. Oh, a strong move by Taylor, breaking down the defense and then finding his teammate. First two points tonight for Corey McKendry, the junior from League City, Texas. A bigger lineup in now for St. Edwards. McKendry, 6'7. James Taylor, 6'5. Deep three for the Rattlers. Oh, he gives you what you need, right? Hasn't taken a lot of shots tonight, but he rimmed out that three to start the second half. But, man, I'll tell you what, that barely tickled the twine. First points for Benavides. Back to a two-point game. A deep three by Taylor. There was still plenty of time in the shot clock. He chucked it up. There was 13 seconds left in the shot clock when he shot that. And then a foul. And Benavides is starting to take over like yeah. a senior should. Yeah, I'll tell you what, he's sneaky with these rebounds too, but look at this. All right, you're gonna give it to me. I'm gonna hair trigger you. Knock it down right in your face. Like I said, I think what's more impressive is this guy's ability to go in and get rebounds too. Well, all second half replays are presented by Thomas J. Henry. When you or your family need help, call Thomas J. Henry 24-7 nights and weekends. 210-656-1000. This guy's just so sneaky, isn't he? I mean, you look up and he's got seven assists, six rebounds. Only taken two shots on the night, but tell you what, and we saw this the other game. You know, if you need a basket, you need to score, you need to stop the drought, you need a rebound, you need an assist, you need something, and Ten's gonna give it to you. And then there's James Taylor on the other end saying, I'm on fire and I bring rain. There it is. <laughs> we wait for that all night. <laughs> I had to change the lyrics though. He did bring rain though. Deep drop into the post. Taylor had the easy finish. And yet another. Nope, not a foul. It was just knocked out of bounds. So we'll stay with the Rattlers. Good defensive post presence there by the St. Ed's D. But Luckily for the Snakes, they get to maintain possession. Jawan Green's had a quiet half, but a big first half. And a great move there. Yeah, more moves than Allied Freight. Looking to hustle back on defense. That was impressive. And an offensive foul, the fourth on Sean Watkins. And Green here, Arena is fired up. Back to a tie ball game. Benavides, Green, St. Mary's. We're tied up. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. A little late there, Frankie. Yeah.
Frank got the job. Get hands-on career training and graduate in less than a year. We're enrolling now in San Antonio for programs in business, medical, technology, and skilled trades like auto mechanic, HVAC, and welding. Google Southern Careers Institute or SCI Texas for more information. Get the training. Get the job. Southern Careers Institute. Oh, snap. Every truck guy has their own way of conveying powerful. Yeah, boy. Kind of looks like a monster coming to eat you. Holy smokes. That is awesome. Strong. You got the basic and you got the beefy. I just think it looks mean. Incredible. No way. Getting yeah, goosebumps. Get a total value of over $9,700 on this Silverado Texas edition. Plus, get an additional $1,000 down payment assistance when you finance with GM Financial. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And what about the pancake? Pancakes and pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Well, that sounds flipping pancakes to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. They're three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat for a limited time. Perfect. Three ninety nine, dollars all you can eat pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. New year, new ride, new you. Nissan of Bernie is celebrating New Year's with savings. Pop over to Bernie for dazzling discounts on trucks like 2017 Titans for 16,000 off MSRP or 2017 Frontiers for 5,000 off MSRP. Don't miss the fireworks or the savings. Enjoy the road ahead from the comfort of your new truck. But hurry, these savings will be gone in a flash. Nissan of Bernie. Better selection, better price. If you were injured in an accident with a large truck or 18-wheeler, we can help. Thomas J. Henry has been helping 18-wheeler accident victims for more than 25 years. Call now. Our attorneys are available for you 24-7, nights and weekends. Deadlock at 61. The Battle of the Saints. And hey, if you like exciting college basketball, this is our Citywide Sports Network telecast calendar brought to you by IHOP. Visit IHOP.com. Our next telecast will be February 17th. We bring in the Trinity Tigers women hosting Shriner at 3 p.m. At 7, the men take the course. All live right here on KCWX-TV. And for future games, visit CitywideSportsNetwork.com for our complete schedule. CSN, where it all begins. A foul to... Doria charge as he tries to get position on Radajicic. That's been the offense. That's been effective. Get that man the basketball and let him do something. Well, you know, it's been a little bit of everything, really, for St. Mary's. I mean, whether it's been Benavides breaking down people off the dribble, finding the open guy. They've knocked down some outside shots. Green's been tremendous, busting guys off the dribble. And then the Rad man doing his thing, too. Loose ball. And a timeout granted to Gosling. And then some tension started to flare. It is a rivalry game. And we said the women's <laughs> matchup got a little heated. We can talk more about that when we return, though. Time out on the court to let tension simmer. Tied at 61. How do you make the internet better for everyone? You make it faster for all. Introducing a true revolution in internet speed from Spectrum with game-changing new starting speeds of 200 megabits. That's double our previous speed, plus the all-new Spectrum Internet Gig with speeds up to 940 megabits. It's just part of our commitment to bringing you a faster, more reliable network for today and for whatever comes next. Spectrum. South Texas now has more award-winning news coverage than ever before. That's because News 4 San Antonio has expanded and can also be seen right here on KCWX-TV. News 4 San Antonio provides you with the news that impacts our families and our communities. We'll be bringing you the biggest local sports stories of the day. News 4 San Antonio's award-winning news and weather coverage can now also be seen right here. Join us nightly at 5.30 and at 10.30 right here on KCWX-TV. Thomas J. Henry, a lawyer with more than 25 years' experience. A law firm that has resolved tens of thousands of cases for people who have been hurt in accidents. Winner of numerous industry awards and recognized by the nation's top publications. With offices across Texas and over 100 attorneys ready to fight for you. When you've been injured, you deserve the best. Call Thomas J. Henry. Don Rackler here with three reasons why you should call John Wayne to the rescue this winter. 
One, while the temperature is low, so are our prices. Everything is on sale, including plumbing and electrical services. Plus, AC and heating equipment is 50% off. Two, take advantage of our five-year 0% financing with no payments for five months. Three, John Wayne is the most trusted name in home services with an A-plus rating with the BBB and over 3,000 five-star reviews. Call now for your free estimate at 293-6700 or johnwayneair.com. Have you checked the pancake? Pancakes. And the uh, pancakes? Yeah, we're pancakes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cleared for pancakes. $3.99, all you can eat, pancakes, pancakes, pancakes at IHOP. That timeout was called by St. Edwards, but it was a little hand fighting, some tempers flaring, as you'd expect. And, you know, this is a rivalry. Teams know each other pretty well. Yeah, absolutely. I really enjoyed our conversation with Andre Cook before the game. You know, he's been at the school for eight years, and he said, hey, I know this is supposed to be a rivalry because of proximity and Catholicity, but until we start winning and making shots like that, it's really not a rivalry. Well, they've done their fair share of winning lately, so it does feel more like a rivalry. And I think if you ask the St. Ed's people, they would tell you the same thing. But, hey, man, I've been a Catholic my whole life, and that was the first time anybody's ever dropped Catholicity on me. You have to incorporate that into my repertoire. That was awesome. And we knew we had to use it the second he said it. Absolutely. But it rings true. The Hilltoppers have not won here. They win at home against St. Mary's. They have not won here. They've lost 10 in a row in this building to St. Mary's. And Andre Cook, this is only his ninth year, so he said, we've never come in here and beaten this team in this gym. And Ajisa hits the free throw. Got to have more of that because there's been too many empty trips here at the line in this basketball game. up once again and then a free one oh take your time there you go give you a free pass right there throwing it away you get an extra possession in a 63 63 ball game wow i think went everything but down two yeah already though 63 63 six and a half minutes left Last time we needed a game here, the final score was 70 to 67. And this played at the, the pace a little bit of St. Edwards, the top scoring team in the league at 91 points a game. Yeah, the defense has been pretty solid tonight. Again, we talked about St. Mary's inability sometimes to corral the rebound, especially on the defensive end. But again, you cannot let a guy like Gossam just beat you off the dribble like that and go in for a layup. He's done that too many times tonight. Radicisi again and again. Feed the big fella. I'll tell you what, they've gone to that well often tonight, and it has paid some huge dividends. Step back three, no good by Dorian Lopez. Ooh, Rod's got a 15-point ball game going. And then he was bumped on the run down. Well, some frustration on the face of Lucas Doria. He's just trying to beat him to the spot because St. Edwards knows what St. Mary's wants to do. Yeah, again, I think it was just two guys running down the court, and one guy stuck his arm out a little bit, but either way, the refs are going to give. Well, actually, no, not on Radajicic. He was wiping his shoes like he thought it was him. So we were all mistaken on that one. Yeah, we'll take it back, because whatever happened, there was a foul, and they are sending Freddie Williams to the line, not Rad. And I was watching Rad, and yeah, he got Doria bumped, thought so he right. was getting called, yep. yeah. Uh, this is the situation here with all these fouls. That's the 10th on St. Edwards. St. Mary's has committed eight. A lot more free throws coming. I'll tell you what, Freddie Williams has had a really nice ball game. Chipping in, he's four or six from the field. And those two critical free throws that he just knocked down his first trip to the line in this game. Giving his squad the lead. I think we're in for a photo finish again here on the Citywide Sports Network. Our unofficial tagline, <laughs> we do close games. Spinning attempt by Gosling. Down into the hands of St. Mary. Well, I'll tell you what, Rad wasn't going to let anybody get an offensive rebound on that one. He didn't get it, but he kept it alive for Fast Freddy to find the ears and give his squad back the basketball. An offensive foul down low. That was your... 
Recently coined nickname there, Fast Freddy, who just slipped an elbow around and got it in on Dorian Lopez. That's his fourth. Some significant foul trouble yep. for St. Mary's. And these possessions are so precious. Very, very, very big turnovers here late. Lopez was wide open. Because it leads to that. You give up a bunny off a back pick on the other end. There's that battle. That epic force between offense and defense on the block. Foul trouble pressing. For the Rattlers, four on Williams. Everyone else of significance has three. But Radajicic is single-handedly trying to foul out every Hilltopper. Yeah, and there's a bunch of guys with three or four fouls for St. Ed's as well. Watkins has got four. Several other guys have three, but how about that pass? Again, you just can't get, you can't let guys get loose around the rim. Not at any time, much less with under five to go. Radajicic is... Continued to pace 16 points along with Green 16. So Marion's running the switch here, and he got Benavides now on Gosselin. Everyone switching on him. Radagisic tried to switch on him, forced the bad shot. When they got numbers, he tried to beat four guys with a racket, it didn't happen. Too much time I was to shoot, say, right? Too wide open. Yeah. Green thought about that and stepped into it. Yeah. Maybe should have put it on the floor and forced the action that way. Just clear path to the rack. At least four or five steps. Watkins, no hesitation. On the other end, liquid nitrogen running through that young man's veins. Eight points for the senior, Sean Watkins. Who came in with one of the best assisted turnover marks college basketball nearly four assists for every turnover this year huge three giving his squad the lead back who else radajicic the junior forward from serbia putting the team on his back you know that to the line when we come back just sign here that's what they all say but you have to read the fine prints that's why I trust Gunn. They keep things simple. Your car has value. That's the business they are in. They'll make you an offer, one that you can take to the bank. That's the way it should be. No strings. Why would you want it any other way? Gunn. Real. Simple. Coaster opens this March. Six Flags Fiesta Texas and the Book of Three are combining their strengths to offer this super power deal. For a limited time, you can get the Book of Free with thousands in savings, plus two free tickets to Six Flags Fiesta Texas to experience the world's first single rail coaster. Get yours at bookoffree.com today and be one of the first to ride the revolutionary Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. Hurry, supplies are limited. At Raising Cane's, we have one love, quality chicken finger meals. During our Fill the Love game, we're giving you a one in three chance to win our one love. Or you could win $100,000 for whatever you love. Whether you'd love a backyard water park, a trip around the world, or all the chicken fingers you could ever want, play Fill the Love today at Raising Cane's for your chance to win our one love. Or yours, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. One love. <laughs> The J.D. Byrider 72-hour event has great cars for as low as $72 down. 
Every car's backed with three-year, 36,000-mile service coverage. And we'll give you top dollar for your trade. Peter Radajicic just keeps getting the basketball and keeps fighting his way to the free throw line. Yeah, it's been a great game for him and some other guys too, but it's been really interesting to see how St. Mary's has really showed off its diversity on offense. If it's not green, it's been rad, working his magic down low, and earlier we showed you the foul trouble for St. Mary's and the Hilltoppers. They're in just as deep a dookie as you take a look at their foul trouble situation. Uh, Sean Watkins has played pretty well, though. Three of those fouls came in the first half, and then the real issue becomes Lucas Doria, who had been the rim protector, double-double, and also the one trying to guard Radagisic. But all that work, I wonder if it's starting to wear down on the junior. That does take a lot of effort still to touch the ball on every possession and work to gain space on both. Tell you what, those are some pressure cooking free throws right there by the Serbian sensation squaring this game. And here we go, two rivals going tete a tete in the final three, 17. Who's gonna blink? Watkins floater not there and then a foul on St. Mary's a lot of calls after the shots here we have seen a lot of these kind of pushing and kind of nudging fouls yeah we sure have and we were talking about during the break how St. Mary's have done a really good job kind of getting control of the glass here on the defensive end and we watched the young man from Marshall High School knock down his first free throw. You know, really, St. Mary's have kind of gotten their handle on that. Haven't given up an offensive rebound to St. Ed's in, you know, roughly since the second half had begun. But that foul was a killer. Because now St. Ed's is retaking the lead. Devon oh. Green. Oh. Spin to the rack, all but the finish. Who's there to clean it up, though? And he gets the foul. That's just good old-fashioned bully ball by 41. My rebound, my shot, but man, Green's got such explosion. It's a great first step to the hole, and look at him stop and spin on a dime. And then 41. Got out the Windex and see if he can go back and make some more hay from the line. I'll tell you what, he's... Stepping up when this team needs it most. They had 22 points at St. Edwards. When these teams met back on December 6th, that was a 90 to 76 Hilltoppers win. And he's coming off a 28 point game two games ago. A 26 point game two games ago. And against Roger State, they had 26 of not very many points for St. Mary's. They were held to just 68. Well, he, again, had most of the offense. Oh, that big, was big three from the top of the arc from Corey Sherville. No panic by the Hilltoppers. Some loose passes, but they found 24, and he didn't need much space to get that shot off. That's a freshman as well. Big time moment. Another big basket answered back by a senior, Freddie Williams. I'll tell you what, it's like a prize fight. One guy delivers a haymaker, and the other guy comes down and drills him right back. Back and forth they go. Dead nodded at 74. Two minutes left in the game. But more you can ask for a rivalry matchup. Three oh. hits everywhere for Dorian Lopez. Making his homecoming. Shooter's touch. He can crack a smile after that one. Probably just wanted to know I didn't go down after one bounce. Good roll off the rim. A couple of jerseys. And a jump ball. And now some temper starting to flare. And a technical foul has just been called on a couple of players. 
Lucas Doria had to be pushed back with a pile. Landon Gosling had to be restrained by his teammate. It was Gosling, Benavidez, and Radajicic who earlier we mentioned had started to get a little bit into it. So there it was again, Radajicic and Gosling, the ones who had some words. I think the technical is going to go on Williams after that shove to the back of Gosling. So all the refs will meet to discuss it, but it was earlier in the game when, you remember, Gosling had called a timeout. And he kind of took was laying offense on the floor. with yep. some people kind of touching him and having their hands in the basketball, and they started getting at it. Yeah, and he kind of threw a little shove during that on Benavides. Obviously, he said something to Rad that he didn't like, but you cannot lose your head in these close games like this. This could be critical because there's a minute 34 left, and St. Mary's is down by three. And if this technical is only called on the Rattlers, then you're giving St. Edwards a free throw, you're giving them the ball, and a chance to really get separation from what had been a back and forth game. Yeah, I mean, because you're talking about a tie game and it's 2.09, so you're lucky if you're gonna, you know, if, if everybody does what they do and that's run their offense and milk the shot clock, you're looking at three possessions. So, you know, I, I can't say it enough, can't stress it enough. And the last thing you want to do is send one team to the line with a clock stop with a chance to either A, build their lead, or C, you know, cut into the lead. Well, the evidence is right there against Freddie, Freddie Williams. I mean, he's had a nice game to this point, too. He just didn't need to make that happen. The only question becomes, is there enough for the referees to determine that something elsewhere either beforehand prompts another not offsetting technical but just one to maybe balance it out or is it solely gonna be a foul and then a situation where only st edwards shoots free throws if it's a double technical yeah it kind of mitigates if it's just on st mary's this becomes pretty costly especially when you consider the fact that williams wasn't even involved in that skirmish I understand you're, you know, you're trying to protect your teammates, and there's a lot to be said for that, but that was Radajicic and Gosling yelling at each other, and then he just kind of jumped in from the outer lying area. Well, they're still sorting it out. They're looking at the replays. So, we'll see what they come up with, but yeah, I think the evidence is pretty clear. Well, I think you're starting to get the elements needed for a rivalry matchup. It was, it is branded as such, the Battle of the Saints, but as these coaches said, and as Andre Cook said for St. Edwards, you could call it a rivalry. I don't know if it's really a rivalry until there's consistent winning. And now it seems you have competitive basketball. St. Edwards won the earlier matchup. Animosity, certainly, and proximity. And then, of course, your favorite element, Catholicity. All the elements are in place. It is officially a rivalry between the Hilltoppers and the Rattlers. One more look. Words exchanged. Some guys doing some little body touching there, getting in each other's space, but it clearly you can't have a guy get pushed from behind. Well, tough to interpret and yeah, tough to lip read, but you want to try to analyze that situation. Radajicic, you know, turned around. Common sense dictates that he heard something from, from Gosling from the St. Edwards players. Well, we're hearing double tech, as you said, partner. There it is kind of mitigate the circumstance. Yeah, tit for tat and let's play on. But, have you heard the end of that? Because it also goes as a personal foul. Freddie Williams is now fouled out, so that's his fifth. So St. Mary's loses a senior, who has 12 points already in this game. So Williams has fouled out. And Doria, is sitting there 
and he is fouled out as well. So that kind of offsets in the truest sense of the word. But Doria is literally still on the court, but actually still is so is Williams, but both have five fouls. Yeah, one more look. Look at the jump ball. St. Mary's is going to maintain possession. And then, yep, you're right. It appears Gosling may have said something that infuriated Rad, and it's possible that some of his teammates also heard what was said, and they were just reacting to it. So it's just been changed, whatever, just posturizing. For that last announcement, two free throws for St. Edwards and the ball. So not a double technical as originally announced. Okay. All right, so as we thought, it goes just on Freddie Williams as we originally thought. And here's Gosling at the line. And he knocks down the first. Well, that, that makes more sense based on what we saw. But that is a huge shift in momentum for the Hilltoppers. Oh, absolutely. To try to extend this lead, and then they get more time to extend right. the lead. Yeah, I mean, made this a two-possession game, and you've given them the ball. And Doria is still in because he wasn't charged with anything. So still with four fouls. And he's been a good presence to... Try to stymie but Radagisa. I don't understand how they're getting possession of the ball when St. Mary's had won the jump ball. I mean, did that just wipe everything off? I think a technical overrides it. Because, you know, ball to St. Mary's, then technical foul happens. You know, you go to the technical. Okay. Makes sense. We got no explanation, so we'll go with that. On the ref today, too. <laughs> Glad you are. I'm wearing the, the black and the, the white. There you go. St. Mary's better think about fouling at some point here. Five-point ball game. Nearing a minute left. Senior. And a somewhat hard foul. You have a big on a small, but shot clock down to five. And Peter Radagisa could commit the foul on Watkins. He's swatting hard at the ball. And Clearly frustrated. Watkins got a step on everybody. And that's a killer, too, because shot clock was winding down. And now you have to be careful if you're St. Mary's on who fouls, because Radajicic has four fouls. Well, Watkins hits. He's had a terrific second half. 11 points so far this half. To make that nine so far this half. playing through three first half fouls. Well, the door's still open. Eight point deficit, six point deficit. 80 to 74, one minute left here in this ball game. Green, tough drive, couldn't finish. Got his own miss, throws it up, and we'll get the foul call. That's been the best play for St. Mary's this game in the second half, get to the free throw line. They're going to take their 29th and 30th free throws on these attempts by Green. Yeah, it was, you know, one of those nights where they've playing a really good ball game and playing pretty good defensively, at least in terms of holding St. Ed's down on the scoreboard. But things have gotten a little sideways here in the last minute or so. You're going to have to turn this into a free throw shooting game for the other team, too, in the lot. The last guy you want to foul, obviously, is Gosselin. And Watkins is a senior, too, so the experienced guys are the scorers and the good free throw shooters if you're St. Edwards. But both made. Gosling does get it. Pressuring him, he falls down, and a travel call. How about that? I mean, that's the thing. He's looking for a foul, but you're trying to beat a triple team, dude. You're not going to get many calls. He gets the ball. Look, he's trying to draw contact. That's a great yep, job of officiating. By trying to throw his body into yeah. it. Yeah. 
I like the young man's confidence. He wants to go to the line, but sometimes you got to pass the ball. Green forcing it up, tipped around. Radajicic can't finish. Ball in the deck, elbows flying. Oh, they're going to give it to St. Mary's back. foul on Dorian Lopez. You can't raise your elbows to clear space, and that's clearly what they called Lopez for. Boy, a lot of hustle underneath the rack trying to get that ball. St. Mary's missing a couple of cracks at getting the hoop, but I don't know what you got to do there. It's tough. If you're the guy with the ball, you know the opposing team's trying to wrest it from you, but you cannot lift your elbows near anybody's head. If you're St. Mary's, though, maybe concerning that you had those looks and couldn't finish. Got the break on the travel now. A must-have opportunity here with new life given. Now well, the turnovers for St. Ed's here all of a sudden help the Snakes get right back in this thing. Lickety split. Green. Almost had this gym erupt on its feet. And that basket gone down. They'll go back to the line for two more. Yeah, what's interesting is they erupted and went on their feet anyway with anticipation that it was going to go down. 30 seconds left. Jawan Green back at the free throw line. I'll tell you what. These games... <laughs> that we do we haven't had a joke yet super tight ball games even when it looks like they're going south rims out well that was tough too it was halfway down Still a chance to get it to one possession. Second one good. There's a timeout for St. Mary's. Well, you know this drill. St. Mary's is going to probably try to foul, and you know the Hilltoppers are going to try to get it into the hands of Gosling again. So St. Mary's is going to have to do a lot of work to try to deny Gosling the basketball. You are in a good spot, work. though, right? With 30 seconds left, that they can do exactly what they just did. They don't have to foul right away. Trap. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. No, absolutely. You've got to go for the steal first. But if they inbound the ball, you know, because, you know, there's a half a second difference between game clock and shot clock. So you're going to have to shorten up this game right now with the free throw line. Both teams have shot a significant amount of free throws. 28 attempted by St. Edwards, 27 attempted by St. Mary's. And I think both are gonna, gonna bemoan the fact that they left a lot out there. 70% for the Hilltoppers and 64% for St. Mary's. Well, they've hit some big shots. Both teams have going down the stretch, so. You know, again, both of these teams, <laughs> in these close games, man, you got to do work at the free throw line. You know it's coming. And now we'll see what St. Mary's does to try to deny Gosling, especially this basketball. Dorian Lopez will inbound. No one guards the inbounder. Yeah, interesting. Stack by St. Edwards. Everyone switches on Gosling. He gets it trapped immediately. He almost pushed off again. Long skip and finally cleared by the Hilltoppers. That did take a while. Now 18 seconds left, and there's the foul. <laughs> and a nice acrobatic of course. showmanship play yeah. thrown up there by Lopez. Yeah, trying to, sell that, he, trying to yeah. sell that he was hacked in the act. His fans like it. Yeah. So putting on a show for his family. But that was well after the foul. And just two free throws. <laughs> Almost let a little bit too much time go off after they didn't get the steal initially. Lopez knocks down the first because of all those fouls early. No drama of the does he have to make this to get another one. The one and one was well out the window about five minutes ago. Now you're shooting two regardless. That certainly, I, I imagine, that kind of eases the pressure off a shooter at this situation. Second 
good. And now a timeout for the Hilltoppers. Now yeah. Lopez has really stepped up as well. Tonight. Absolutely. I mean, those were some pressure free throws, too, because again, you know, now you make it a two possession game, and now St. Mary's has to decide how they're going to do this. You know, you need two baskets. So, you know, there's some school of thought that you know they're not going to play as hard a defense because the last thing you want to do is send you to the line. So you go down and try to get an easy two and then foul immediately and then see if you can get the other team to miss some free throws. But you've got to believe at some point you're also going to have to make a three. So we'll see. Well, coming up in maybe 16.5 seconds, maybe longer, the John Wayne Service Company post-game show. We'll have highlights, final stats, some interviews, and then a look ahead to our next broadcast where predict that, hey, it'll probably be pretty exciting based on how these last uh, like yeah. five or six have been. And St. Ed's is going to pressure the ball. He might be able to get a shot up if he can beat somebody off the dribble like this young man has done repeatedly tonight. Yeah, shading green toward the middle. He's out of control and he travels. Green had a one-track mind on that, and unfortunately there was no path to the basket for him. Yeah, just kind of lost his footing, got a little too quick. Well, now you know what you have to do. You have to foul immediately. Five-point ball game. 11 seconds left. And it is Green who goes in and fouls Landon Gosling. Just too quick. Yeah, that's tough when they know he's going to get the basketball. I think everyone on St. Mary's trying to deny him the basketball, and he still finds a way to get the ball. Yeah, he's had a really nice game. Some critical mistakes there towards the end, but you know, ultimately he knows, and they know as a team, they want this young man with his hands on the basketball as much as possible. How about that? <laughs> I don't see that very often. 